Hello and welcome to the GT4. We are doing another one of these. I think this is just the second one of this car I've done on the channel. And as you can see, we're heading out real quick because uh, you don't have much time to uh, qualify here at Road America, which is where we are. We are trying to get our laps in. And, uh... It's not going to be a very fast lap, most likely. Um, so, funny story, I was in practice, and at first it was looking pretty good. I actually really like how this car drives here, um, which is interesting because uh, I'm usually pretty bad <laughs> at Road America, and uh, this, this car is still, a very, is still very much a work in progress for me. So I'm usually not very good in this car either. But I'm really liking how it drives here. I'm having some fun. And at first I thought, hey, I'm not doing so bad. I've got like about a 217 time optimal. Should be able to hit that. And the leader in the open practice had a 217. So I'm thinking, all right, cool. I'm actually doing all right. And then some guys showed up and started hitting two uh, 15s. And then, all my confidence went away. <laughs> but, that's fine. We've actually got a decent field here, it looks like. We've got a 2.7 K strength of field. We are the number six. So we don't have to, it's not uh, like we have to go out and win the thing. And we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'll try. It's not going to happen, though. But we will... Go out, see if we can keep it clean, keep it on track. And hopefully have ourselves a nice finish. I don't know what it is, though, but this car is really working for me on this track. I'm having a lot of fun driving it. And like I said, Road America has been hard on me in the past. Like, you uh, might have seen my Toyota GR86 race here. I was dead slow. Probably could have gotten out and walked faster, but... We, could, we still could be slow here. Especially if we're going to be in top split. Could be a case where we, uh, yeah, still are very slow. We might be able to get two laps in. As long as we don't mess up. I've been going back and forth on whether to go to second gear there. It seems like you should be able to take it third gear, but every time I do that, I, I kind of push out wide. And I'm thinking the higher RPMs of second gear kind of help it get turned, maybe? Or I just overdrive it when I don't shift? I don't know. But I, I hope it'll be fun, at least. I hope we'll have ourselves a good race. That's all I think I really want from this one. Is that too much to ask? A good race? We've been having some good races lately. So if it goes south, that's okay. We've had some good races lately. They don't always go well, so... <laughs> we'll take it however it goes, but... I hope it goes well, because this is it's pretty fun. So far, we're about a half second off my optimal. Which is actually pretty good, because I haven't really been able to get anywhere close to my optimal. My best lap is actually six tenths off of my optimal, so I haven't really been able to put it all together yet. Just trying to focus on those... Uh, key road racing things like trying to make sure I don't turn and brake at the same time, all that good stuff. Trying to get my braking done before turning in. It's usually what uh, it seems like you want to do. I'm okay with this lap. Pretty close to uh, the best I was able to do in practice. About a tenth off. So it's probably really slow. But it's about what I think I'm at right now. Push it a little bit more here. See if we can get anything else. I 
think I'll be doing second gear through there. It just seems to work better for me. This turn's always really scary. I'm usually pretty bad at it, too. I'm usually really slow through here. And then this one, this turn, I think you might be able to flat foot it, but I am terrified. So I usually don't give it a good lift. That was bad. I saved it, but that's going to ruin this lap. Hit the grass. Darn you, grass. I got to go and be slippery. We'll finish off the lap anyway, if we can. Minute 30, yeah, we got time. I need all the practice I can get anyway. I don't think you want to be flat footing that. I don't know if that's possible. I think you push out wide if you try to flat foot that one. I uh, don't want to find out. <laughs> anyway, I will probably die if I find out. Same right here. I can't, I tend to push out wide if I flat foot that, so I always give it a little bit of a lift. I think I'm pretty bad at that corner. <laughs> so, unfortunately, uh, a bad sector four ruined this lap for us. Still wasn't going to be better than the first lap anyway, I think. Good news is, because those laps take so long, we're going to be starting to race here in only about 30 seconds. Oh my god, look how slow we are. 15th. That's gonna be a yikes for me. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? We'll be patient. We'll we'll take it. Take it slowly. Literally. Oh, we're like the slowest here. We'll uh, take it slowly. Follow some people. 219. I assume they had trouble, and that's what gave them that time, because... I don't know, we got a pretty big field here, all the way down to 1.9k at the bottom, and so, oh, 7.3k? Holy smokes. So, 7.2. We got some really fast guys in here. What are they hitting? Almost two 14s. Gee whiz, guys. That's fast. Look at silly old me down here, two seconds off. What? Oh, we'll travel, see what we can do. We gotta do a whole dumb old pace lap. To go. Next time by, line up on the left side. Close. Road because Road close. America. All time optimal. I forgot we get a fast repair in this series. Maybe under driving it, I'll take care of the tires better. And accidentally uh, find some success. You never know. You never know. Just finished up doing a race in the late model fixed at five flags. Took me a second to remember. That was a pretty fun race. Had uh, Nick in there, Nick Neben. We had ourselves a, a good, I don't know if you would call it a battle, but I was trying to chase him down. That was pretty fun, a good send-off for that car, since we'll be updating it and replacing the current one. Do I have them muted? No. It's not hearing anything. It's weird. Oh yeah, this is multi-class, so I guess I should mention that... Uh, well, I guess not multi-class, but you got multiple manufacturers in here. Uh, I can drive the Mercedes. That's a new one. Advertising an Instagram. Usually it's a setup shop or their Twitch channel or YouTube. I think that's the first time I've seen an Instagram. Not too interested in looking at pictures of that guy, but more power to him. Pictures of him or his car or whatever he's got on his Instagram, I guess. How's the pace lap gonna look here? Are we going to be able to do that cleanly? Never a guarantee. 
Certainly didn't happen when I was in the uh, Toyota. With someone trying to take... Before the green came out, trying to take Catch people three wide. Before we even started going. That wasn't great. Catch stuff, 19, car. Caught up. Maybe try to get some of the squeak out of the tires if possible. Get them up to, uh, up to temp. I don't know if that's a real thing in this car or not. Some cars it seems to be. Oh. People breaking ahead. I better pay attention. I gotta remember people do crazy things on these pace laps. Getting some of that squeal out of it. Not quite as loud as it was. Get a nice tour of the track we're about to race on, I guess. Get the 19 car. Better make sure I can actually keep up with the pace speed. <laughs> So far, so good. Everyone's able to get this done. Of course, last time, everyone was fine until we got to, like, the final corner. We are still here. We are still doing our formation lap. Would it be that hard? Like, right here. Right here is a great place that you could stick us. Look, entire field fits on it. Just start us right here. <laughs> Please, iRacing. Hear me out. Love you guys, but... I've already forgotten how to race this car around this track. It's been too long since I did practice. My memory's not good enough for this. But we're here, finally. Time to get going. I can't really see too well, especially with this hill, but I'm assuming they're going now because everyone seems to be hitting the gas. Guess I should have been earlier because everyone's going past me on the right side. Okay, they're crashing. Oh my god. Yep, had to save that. They're swamping me right now. We took a 1x because I was afraid the guy on our uh, on our right was going to have to dodge the guy spinning. So I tried to give him as much room as possible so he could avoid that. Stay on the left. Clear. Right side. Stay on the left. Clear. Okay. Figured that out. Really need things to start spacing out here soon. It's 
we can actually uh, breathe a little bit. Go through there very fast. Still a bit of a cluster up ahead. Just gotta be careful. Don't spin. I have gotten loose out of this corner. In practice, so gotta be careful. Don't overdrive this. Like that guy. Left side. Clear on the left. Okay. Still okay. Someone went off behind me. I just took a glance oh. in my mirror. What was that? What? <sighs> Thanks. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Car's dead. Speed limit is 45 miles per hour. Looks like the car is stuck. We almost made it a lap. Press and hold the reset button and we'll come and get you. <laughs> What was that? What was that? This wheel brake? Yeah, it looks like a broken wheel. <sighs> Nothing much I can do about that. Just drove right across the... Well, yeah, sorry whoever got caught up in that. Time to get a new car. A new car. The price is right. Right here. We're done. Get going. I guess I'll keep recording. Just to see what we can still get. That stinks though. We almost made it a lap. Things were looking good. Until they weren't. It looks clear. Just driving off the course. Gotta get my feet under me again, get into the rhythm. There's a nice handful of people that have still crashed out and everything, so... We'll try to cobble together something. The leader has just done a 214. 214? He's probably got some draft, right? I assume. Maybe not. They were pretty close to 214, so maybe they can actually hit those laps. Did like a double turn in there, that was not good. Okay, Colton, ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Well, I did say I had uh, fun just driving around this place, so that's what we'll do. No one really to battle right now. We'll see if that changes at all later. Hey, I took that pretty good. That's probably the best I've ever taken that corner. Got more people on pit road, so we will get some more free spots. We've already been other people's free spot. Maybe we can get some of our own. Didn't shift a second there when I wanted it to. Some people are leaving. Those are spots that we know we'll be able to keep. A lot of times I just give up uh, when I crash like that because it's usually not too fun just driving around on my own. Not too much to gain anyway. 
But here it looks like there was a lot of people crashing or getting crashed into. So we'll see what we can get. P22. See if I can get any faster too. That's how uh, this will remain fun. I'll just go for fastest laps, our personal fastest laps, you know, for my own sake. Hopefully not get lapped. They're 40 seconds behind, so if they do, that's really pathetic. <laughs> Hopefully not get lapped. Seventeen point seven is my current all-time best. If I get, if I can get anywhere near the optimal, which is what is on uh, screen as the delta bar, then I can uh, beat that. Hey, got through there pretty good. All right. It'd be cool if I was racing for a purpose, <laughs> but that's fine. I might have to give this another try on my own. Maybe I'll record it, I don't know. We'll see. I wonder if I'll get caught by that guy behind me, 13 seconds back. That's for position, so I don't want to lose this spot. I know the uh, relative is a little bit weird here sometimes, I think just because it's such a big place. It'll shift back and forth. Hey, that's an all-time best. Pretty good, too. A couple tents I shaved off. I know, I know I have it in me. I mean, obviously, we have the optimal there. But I just feel like I, I can I can get better. I feel like there's room to improve. It's a shame that we uh, got into that wreck also for safety rating purposes. Always trying to improve that. I'm, I'm really trying to get it back to the fours. It's a 3.8. I'm always bouncing back and forth between the threes and the fours, but really like to be in the fours. Feels nicer to have it there. We'll keep working at it. Not much I can do when people's uh, games crash or whatever happened to, to his game in front of us. I thought we were fine. I just saw him like drive off to the right, and I didn't see him anymore. I was trying to look to make sure, and uh, nah, he got us. Wrong place, wrong time. Taking it through Speedville! Yeah, I'm kind of getting the hang of that now. Those are some of my favorite corners, when you can kind of like modulate the throttle like that and kind of feel it out, get some turn on throttle. It's part of what I really like about racing oval, intermediate ovals, when you got a bit of a loose car, it's kind of that same feeling. It's feeling out throttle, I'm using it to turn. Get kind of that same sensation there, and I enjoy it a lot. The car in front is Vigo. I'm getting sideways. That stinks. That ruined my whole lap. We were going to have ourselves another decent decent one right there. In fact, let's do session optimal, so it's most updated with what we're currently running. My crew chief said P21, but it says P22, so I'm a little confused about what we actually have right now, but that's alright. No difference. 
See, like times like that, I'm like, man, I didn't really need this shift into second there, did I? Cheese. Pass the cheese. How much time we got left? Just three minutes, so only a couple more laps. Overdrove it. Neato. We just got a 4x, right? 5x. I had that other uh, 1x, I guess. That's right. Dodging a different wreck. Man. What a shame. That pretty good. I'm getting better at Sector 4. It's what I messed up in qualifying on lap 2, but it's kind of what's working for me now. Uh-oh. I'm saying that, and I'm taking that way too shallow. I didn't really get the uh, diamonding kind of line going quite right there. The captain, Wood, behind is in it's now 13. The guy behind must have had some trouble. He lost a couple seconds. I guess they've stopped wrecking, though, because we're not gaining much more, and that's unfortunate. Okay, I learned how to take Canada Cuomo, I guess. That was much better. I think it's too that the uh, car's getting lighter, tires in good shape. All that good stuff you always hear about. All that missing the final corner you're always hearing about. Can I get my optimal in the 216s? That'd be some good progress. That'd be cool. All I gotta do is hit uh, sector a little better, a time or two maybe. Third gear that time. It's so equal. It's just about the same. Enter that a little harder that time. Didn't get my turn in right, though. This is pretty a tricky place, you know? It's a tricky track, at least for me. It doesn't really come naturally to me. It feels like I need a lot of practice to get this place down. Just not quite enough laps under my belt here. Underdrove that maybe a little bit. Actually, it was pretty good. On time. Decent, at least. All right, got a good run out of there. We might have another best lap coming up if I can hit these final couple of corners correctly. Not crash or anything. I've been messing up the final corner though, so that's probably on deck. It's a messed up final corner. Might be a third gear turn right there as well. I don't know, I don't know if we got it. I don't know if we got uh, best slap here. Nah, tenth off. But white flag. This one's coming to a close, mercifully. Really close to getting a 216, that's cool. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, though. I had to do second gear there, it was not turning. That's what I mean, it's, it's pretty equal, I think, at least with my current speed. So I think I need to take second gear just because it's more consistent for me. Where are all the free spots? I'm supposed to be getting free spots.
Hey, that was pretty good. I turned in earlier and it worked out. That's exactly what I was thinking. Come on, 216 Optimal. You gotta find your own race sometimes. If you're gonna be racing all alone. This is fun though, I really do enjoy how this is uh, feeling. Mario, you are not being here, man. Ooh, powering through there. Come on, 216. Ah, you French one? Terrible, bro. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Did I see that correctly? 217 even? Aw, oh, come on. This track hates me. Oh, hold on now though. Final sector. <laughs> This is the most exciting, boring race ever. Come on, 216! We got the final sector! Yo! <laughs> Stupid. P21. I lose almost 100 I rating. Why do I feel happy? I don't know. That was fun, though. I mean, I'm okay with getting wrecked. Like I was saying at the start, I had some good luck recently, and, uh... That's not how it works. These things tend to even out, and that's just about as bad luck as you can get. It was no one's fault. Hardware problem. <laughs> just the worst place at the worst time. But uh, sometimes you gotta make your own fun, I guess. <laughs> we'll uh, go watch the incidents proper. Where's the camera so far away? I think it normally does that here at Road America. Camera's always like really far away. Bring it in. Bring it around town. There we go. Oh my god, you quit yelling at me. Take it easy, gee willikers. Loud race cars. What is this? So with 20 spins. Yeah, so this is where I went and got the 1X. So I figured he was going to bounce off that wall, and then the guy on our right was probably going to need to uh, dodge it. Yeah, might not have needed to do that. I probably made it worse by doing that, but <laughs> felt necessary at the time. We survived uh, for that moment as everybody passes us. Uh, we got blinking and rear-ending at the same time. 18. It's like they hit the brakes really hard there. I don't think you need to hit the brakes that hard right there. Yeah, he's he's heavy on the brakes. A little. I usually break like right when I'm passing this sign. He's about a couple car lengths back, and he gets on it really hard. So the 22 runs in the back of him there, but that's pretty dramatic. Like You can see how much... He breaks compared to the guys ahead, too. I mean, I guess it's not too much, but... I don't know. That's unfortunate. I know, I know the 22. Probably didn't want that to happen. Didn't look like it was an aggressive move. And then, uh... Everyone's luckiest driver. They caught up in the... In that. Not mad at him. I mean... Genuine mistakes don't bother me nearly as much as people being stupid and making aggressive moves and causing accidents and that wasn't even a mistake it was hardware so we skipped lap two no one had any troubles lap two because everybody uh had the world's cleanest race after this just some doors nothing even happening really this is a send I'm running out of room but everyone's not plowing through each other they're backing off they're having a great time aren't they Oh, that guy's not. That was a free spot that we didn't know about. 
Guy behind him followed him too, but survived a little better. Whoa! Oh my god! That... He got all the luck I didn't have. Look how close that was! Oh, he got net code damage. No, he didn't. It fixed itself. When it decided he didn't actually hit him. That's how close it was. That's like a gear, like gears coming together. It just fits right in as this car turns. That's unbelievable. And then the, he almost gets slapped in the butt, too. <laughs> coming by. Wow, that's pretty insane. That is... I need you to share your luck next time, sir. That's a tree. It's a three. Almost getting hit by a million cars. So, we got the guy blinking. We're already lap six now. The guy sends it in and doesn't even really turn for that guy. They're battling hard. I mean, most of what we're getting is blinking. And barely, like, tiny little touches. After that bit of a messy first lap. Oh, that guy spun. And it's going to take him forever to get going, too. Unless he pulls out in front of people. Uh, pulls out in front of people. But, they survive. That guy's been blinking the whole time. And that's it. Jeez. So, uh, we get very, very unlucky and get caught in someone's hardware failure. Um, somehow got exciting, despite being the most boring race of all time. <laughs> Just because I was fighting the track. But, uh, I still enjoyed it for what it was. Sucks that it happened that way, but got to, uh, practice essentially and try to beat my, uh, all time best. And, uh, we got our session optimal down to 216 so uh made some improvement i'll take that for what it is thanks for watching a little bit of a weird one but i uh, hope you enjoyed that for what it was too and uh i will see you next time have a good one